So the Special Olympics movement actually started in a pool. My mom, even at the end of her life, said to me, the only thing I ever really wanted to do with my life is teach children with intellectual disabilities how to swim. You also got a, kind of a start in a pool. <laughs> it's crazy, honestly. Like I, I really don't know, you know, sitting here thinking about it, where, where I would be if, if swimming wasn't a part of my life. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously it, it gave me the skill to, you know, have a life-saving skill, excuse me, but also at the same point, it, it gave me confidence, mm. right? And I think that kind of then carried over through other aspects of my life. That's what my mom wanted in the Special Olympics movement, to give people with intellectual challenges confidence, to prove to the world they had value. The movement is now in 190 countries, millions and millions of people. It's incredible how far it's grown. Michael, thank you for being a champion of that movement. For sure, thank you, and I look forward to, to the future. Yeah. How many more can we get in? How many more people's lives can we touch and make a difference with?